Well, a new survey released this week suggests that nearly 75% of consumers are not convinced that large corporations such as Target, Michaels, and even Marcus are doing enough to protect consumers' private data. Joining us now this morning is Eric Chu. He's a co-founder and president of High Trust. He'll be talking uh, about more about customers' trust in these large retailers. And Eric, uh, High Trust just recently conducted a survey of just what consumers think about big corporations and... So, yeah, we had that, the same question, which is, given the string of high-profile breaches, mm -hmm. right, we've had two of the biggest breaches in history in the last eight months with right. Target and Edward Snowden, and the string of high-profile breaches that have been happening almost weekly with Neiman Marcus, Michael Storrs, mm -hmm. right, Adobe, and we wanted, at High Trust, we wanted to find out how that was affecting consumer trust, so we pulled 2,000 consumers, people like you and me, and we asked them one simple question, which was, do you really believe that organizations care about protecting your data? And the results were consistent throughout, and they were shocking, right? Nearly three quarters of mm -hmm. consumers said no. It's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. And it should be alarming, especially to companies in retail, healthcare, and financial services that mm -hmm. really rely on trust with customers. And, you know, the we we know that it takes decades and centuries to really build brand, yes. to build trust, to mm -hmm. build uh, loyalty with customers. And that can all be destroyed instantaneously if those companies don't put the customer first. Exactly. So we see this changing level of trust. What are companies doing to try and regra regain that trust? Because there's been huge losses at all of mm -hmm. those all of those entities that we've been talking about. Yeah, I think you know all of these breaches have been a big wake-up call to companies to uh, put a higher priority on security. And mm -hmm. you know one of the biggest reasons why these things uh, happen is that the two biggest priorities that companies really focus on are profits and revenues. Sure. And unfortunately, security doesn't drive either of those two priorities, at least not in the short term. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that companies have historically focused on what I'd call an outdated model of security, which is to keep the bad guys out. And they really need to shift their thinking to essentially assume the bad guy is already on already the internet. Already in. Exactly. Oh, okay. Because all of these big high profile breaches have mm -hmm. all happened from the inside. They've either been an employee or a contracted employee or somebody who's stolen the credentials of an employee or a third-party contractor. And that one simple change in assumption can dramatically affect how companies think about securing those critical systems and data that house our information. What has the impact of using the cloud had on yeah. the safety of data? So the cloud essentially makes everything uh, even worse to some extent, mm -hmm. right? Because what you're doing in the cloud is you're concentrating systems and networks and data, and that ultimately concentrates risk. Sure. And data is the new currency, right? That's mm -hmm. what attackers <laughs> are going after. That's what companies are making so much money off of. Yep. And that's data that is on you and me, right? And with cloud, given that concentration of systems and data, that is creating right even bigger threats and bigger risks, especially given that these are also new technologies and the attackers are well-funded and they're using uh, vulnerabilities in these technologies. They're going after social engineering. They're impersonating employees. Yes. Once they're on the network, they look just like you and me. And with, with uh, technologies like cloud, that means that they can siphon off even more data. It is so frightening for the average person to think every time I go shopping, I have to be worried about where my data is going to end up. What quick and simple tips can you give to our viewers? Yeah, you know, we all have to be safe about the data we share mm -hmm. and the organizations that we do business with. And that means we should think twice about websites we register with, what information we share with them, what stores we shop at, what information we store in the cloud and how we share that with others. Mm -hmm. We should also demand that the companies that we do business with put a high priority on securing our data. And they, they don't do things like sell and share our data with other companies. You know, uh, you mentioned earlier the fact that a lot of companies don't put this as a, as a priority because their, their priority is, is making money, making profit. Well, now we're finding out that if you don't do this, you will lose money yep. and you will lose trust. Yes, yeah. exactly. Eric Chu from High Trust, thank you so much for joining Great. us. Great, thank you, Marty. We'll be right back.